Game three of the big league career of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two for eight with a walk in the first two games. Last night, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. was a guest of the Toronto Raptors. The night got even better when Vladdy and his sister Vladdy got the chance to meet Vladdy's favorite artist, Drake. And back to back walks have the bases loaded with Piscotti up at first. The 2 2 swing and a miss, and he got him with a curveball and a fist pump by Thornton. It was a long first inning, but it'll depart with the bases left loaded. Sogard hitting an even 400 through his nine games, and he's got at least one hit in all nine of them. He has done a terrific job at the top of the Blue Jay lineup. There's a high fly ball out to right field. Pascotti pushed back. He'll watch it go again. Eric Sogard does it again. Even Vlad Jr. is impressed by the unstoppable force that is Eric Sogard right now. He went two years without hitting a home run in the major leagues. He's got three in his last five games. And the crowd starts to rise as they have in this city since Thursday night with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. coming to the plate. The swing and a ground ball to the right side off the heel of the glove of Pender at second and Guerrero will reach on what should be scored in air. The one on McKinney, ground ball towards Pender, the second baseman, and he juggles another one, recovers, fires to first, not in time! Back-to-back -back airs on the athletic second baseman. A one-out walk, and Chapman is aboard for Chris Davis. That one hooked out in the left field line, Chapman can run. Gonna be a play at the plate, the throw home is late. Chapman scores, Davis with an RBI double, and this game is tied at one. 0-1 pitch, swung on, grounded to third. Vlad's got it, throw across his body, hauled in by Rowdy. And the inning is over. One away for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two for nine to start his big league career, which means if he gets a hit here, he'd be a 300 hitter. The one two pitch, curveball swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Guerrero, all geared up for that 94, goes down swinging the third strikeout in his big league career in 10 trips. For Thornton, he has walked five today, and Hudson is ready if needed in the bullpen. Runner goes from first, 3-2 pitch. Pulled on the ground down to third. Vladdy looks at second base, chucks it to first to get the out on Chapman. Guerrero hasn't had many opportunities, but he certainly looks comfortable over there at third base. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. It was a gritty and at times bounce back performance by Trent Thornton. He survives five and keeps it a 1-1 game. Bassett pitching well. Also, he's got six strikeouts. And he got him swinging. High fastball, seven strikeouts. Here's the one two delivery by Bassett. Slow curve as the ground ball one hop to second to his left pinder has it and throws the first for the out. And for Bassett, it's a one two three bottom of the fifth inning. Steven Piscotti leads it off for Oakland. First pitch swinging and a fly ball to deep right center field. Gritchick going back, jumps and makes the catch up against the fence. That'll get him to smile a little bit because he robs his former teammate of an extra base hit. One out base runner for Oakland. Whoa, they got him picked off. Hinder was leaning and will get tagged out. Boy, two errors and caught in a rundown. Tough afternoon. Two down, and here's Guerrero again. He has reached on an error and struck out. The 2 2. Swing a bounding ball, left side, charging in. Simi on the shortstop's got it. Flips it onto first in time to get Guerrero and retire the side. Bottom of the seventh, and Chris Bassett's still out there. And a curve. Brito tries to hold up. He cannot do it. There's a 1 2 3 inning. Nine strikeouts for Chris Bassett and seven impressive frames in Toronto. Ninth inning baseball here at the Rogers Center. And we are still tied 1 1. In the air, back of third. Guerrero down the line and made the catch. Foul territory and a bending backward back towards fair territory. A tricky play. Guerrero. Showing good range, gets over into foul ground to make the catch for the first time of the inning. Now it's Vladdy time. Vlad Sr., two for three with a home run in his career off Joaquin Soria. Now Soria faces Junior for the first time. Senior hit a home run off Soria. Wouldn't that be a nice little capper to a special weekend? 3 0 green light, and he's got a base hit into center field. And the winning run is aboard with one out here in the ninth for the Blue Jays, and Alan Hansen is already on his way out of the dugout to run for Vladdy. So the is have the go ahead run 90 feet away as the Blue Jays draw the infield in. Swinging a fly ball center field. Gritchick back, has room, makes the catch. Lariano comes through with a deep shot to center, gives the A's a 2 to 1 lead in the 11th inning. Hit to left field. 
McKinney going back. McKinney near the wall. He leaps. It's over his head. Morales running on the pitch is going to score. McKinney falls down when he's trying to pick it up. It's going to be an RBI double, and the A's now lead it 3-1. to one. Trinan will pitch to the middle of the Blue Jays' order here in the bottom of the 11th with his Oakland A's having just scored him three runs to take a 4-1 lead. And the tying run remains at the plate, this time for Brandon Drury, who was the walk-off hero Friday night. Drury blasts one to deep center field. Loriano on the run at the track. He turns. It's gone! Brandon Drury does it again! A three-run homer in the bottom of the 11, and the Blue Jays have tied this game 4-4. Justin Smoke comes to the plate. He's got a chance to be a hero here. It's a 4-4 tie in the bottom of the 11th. Each team has scored three runs in this inning. Trying to smoke. Swung on, grounded, into left field, the base hit. Galvis gets the wave. Here he comes. Here's the throw. Freddie scores! And the Blue Jays win it. Four runs in the bottom of the 11th. Justin Smoke with the walk-off RBI single. The Blue Jays sweep the series. They sweep the season from the Oakland A's, going 6-0 with a 5-4 win in 11 innings.